Welcome back everybody to New Tropic Zoo. That's right, we're back with a new episode of New Tropic Zoo today and we're going to be building a new habitat for a new animal, a new addition to this lovely modern zoo based in the grasslands of Africa. Follow us along here along this path through the walkthrough exhibit, the staff area, our first habitat what we created if you remember from the first episode and our lovely restaurant and plaza area. So this bit here, just next to the plaza, where we're going to be creating a habitat for the meerkat. Lovely little animal, and a lovely little animal what I like creating habitats for. I have created a habitat for the meerkat before, but obviously not in Nootropic Zoo, so I am looking forward to showing you this. Um, this kind of habitat here, it, the theme for this zoo for me is very simple habitats, but high detailed. We're going with a modern look, remember? So we need to keep that in mind. So we're going to be using a lot of plaster pieces. We're going to be using a lot of um, black metal pieces. And we're going to keep with the same color schemes as well. And you can see me here just trying to figure out how to get this initial building. Getting this initial building in means we can then get everything around it fitted in. Sometimes I like to start with the viewing area. In this occasion, I'm doing something a little bit different out of my comfort zone and starting with something different. That is the actual habitat hard shell. So this is where our habitat animals, the meerkats in this case, are going to go in and get a little bit of privacy from our guests. We're going to cover it with the front with a viewing area. Obviously, that's going to include one way glass so our animals can still get privacy and not get stressed. And again, keeping to the same colour scheme with the roof. It's going to be the same colours, probably most of the roof and some of the flooring throughout the zoo, which is kind of like a, like a dark grey. I've actually got the colour wrong, where you can see now we do recolour it. I threw a lot of ideas around in my head, and I even drew some stuff on paper of how I wanted this animal habitat to look. And I thought the meerkats, first thing, is going to be a small habitat. Because not only do they need a small habitat, a meerkat, but that is the theme throughout this whole zoo if you have noticed every single habitat is quite small every animal is going to be small but it's going to be high detailed and modern and that is going to be the theme throughout and i did struggle with kind of like telling myself i needed to do this and create a small habitat because i really wanted to go like extravagant and loads of bendy you know um barriers and loads of foliage and everything like that and water and wa and waterfalls and rivers but I, I i had to reel it in a little bit because i needed to remember what the theme of this zoo is and it just wouldn't have fitted it whatsoever uh, i really wanted to kind of like showcase with this zoo what you can do in a, in such a little space and for the smaller animals of planet zoo um so that's what the theme i needed to stick to so it's as simple as that i need to reel it in a little bit i actually just created a penguin habitat for the little penguin that was a little bit more extravagant with loads of bends and a less boxy kind of habitat style um separate to this zoo obviously if you're not seeing that the, the habitat speed build is on the channel uh, but yeah, how are you enjoying the new pack? Let me know the new pack has recently been released. It's probably been about three weeks at the time you're watching this video. Let me know what you think about it down below. A lot of you uh, have mixed opinions, I'm going to say. In my last video, which was the, the um, Little Penguin video, like I just said, there's a lot of mixed feelings. Some people are loving it. Some people are like, oh, it's all right. Some people are like, spit shit. Um, so yeah, if, if you've not watched that video and you've not already showed, shared your opinion with me, then I'd love to hear your opinion on the new pack. Right, just put in this a window now and this is going to be the indoor viewing area where our animals will be sleeping. We're going to put some bedding in there, obviously it's one way glass, and just finishing it off with these black metal pieces. Well, they're wood pieces, but they're recolored to black to look like metal pieces. And this is how it came out looking in the end. You can see I've added a little window there. I actually changed that to a square window because I'm not too fond of it. On the top, we've got windows what look like they open and close. We've got the door on the left hand side there for access to our zookeepers from inside to out. Let's start building possibly my favorite part of any build, which is, if you've watched my stuff before, the viewing area where our guests can have a good view of our animals. So we need a barrier, obviously, with it being high detailed, we're going to create our own barrier. We're not going to use those disgusting in-game barriers. We're going to wrap a null barrier around it and use our custom barrier, what you can see me building now. 
It's going to contain two main elements, obviously plaster pieces and glass, keeping with that modern look. And this is the first idea what I played around with. Like I said near the start, I do change it. And I will show that process as well. I'll show you why I didn't like it and why I did change it and what I changed it to. But this was my first concept. So glass, black metal pieces, and we've got the conservation wood piece with the plaster. And we're just going to build that up. So we've got two different barriers, which will combine together to break it up a little bit. You don't just want all glass and you don't just want all plaster. You want to kind of like break it up a little bit. You can see me just angling this now, and this was my first mistake. Angling it and thinking, oh, I'm going to have a really extravagant, kind of like a windy path for the actual viewing area and a windy fence um, for the habitat. And I did like it at first, but when coming back and looking at it, it just wasn't really working at all. So this is the initial mock-up of the, well, pretty much nearly the whole habitat. The whole barriers are in. You can see I've got a custom floor going on as well. Separated the barriers, like I said, with the glass and the plaster pieces. So it's just done all look the same. But yeah, I think I, this is me just taking a look at it and coming back here and thinking it just doesn't look right in the context of the zoo as a whole. That's why I really zoom out here and take it all in and try to like think, if something's not right, go back and change it. Don't just leave it because it will do your editing, especially if you're a bit of a perfectionist like me. And this is the second option. Let me know which one you think looks better, the square path or the windy path. Oh, and by the way, I just kind of like grabbed this planter, what I've already planted down, and just put it over here to kind of break up the look of the actual barrier. And I think it does suit really well and it carries on the same theme done it with those kind of planters but yeah this is how it's going to look and i think i am going to stay with this at the back here i'm going to create a little planted area as well but now it was time to actually create the inside of the habitat get all the the enrichment items and stuff like that in and then bang all the foliage in first down first thing we're going to do is filter down the the habitat items to the meerkat and i remember when they didn't actually have that in planet zoo like you literally could not filter down to which animal you wanted for the enrichment items which is crazy to think about you know but we didn't have that option back in the day not that long ago either so just adding the habitat enrichment items in love that little tunnel and the little dig as well where they can go in and dig down into the tunnel and then we're going to add this from zhs plays this was actually rated i think it was number three in my top workshop blueprints and if you are looking for any top workshop blueprints and what are the most useful anyway i've got a video on that well that, i think that ranked number three it's from zhs plays which is another content creator he's brilliant all this stuff is brilliant go and check him out if you're not already um right rocks adding these little bit of rocks here just digging them in the ground so they look like pebbles as well these are the tropical style rocks and then just playing about with little foliage options. And I do recommend doing this. I do it in everything I do. Just see what works. If it doesn't work, take it back out or delete it. Control Z to delete it. And then just place a different kind of foliage down. Get the colors mixing in and see what works and see what doesn't work. Um, little planters at the back, little trees going on just to complete that look and trying to give the animals a little bit of shade and block that back. Kind of like a backdrop in it as well. And then I thought, wait a minute, I've got some lovely little twigs what I put in my last habitat I created for the foxes. And I'm going to include them into this habitat, which is the best thing to do when you're building a zoo as a whole. And I'm really enjoying doing that, taking stuff out of one habitat and put it in the other as well. It's already been built. It's like a little homemade blueprint for you, isn't it? Adding some pebbles to give it that look of, well, pebbles. Well, I'm tired, honestly. It's currently... It's currently 10 p.m. on a Friday night. I've worked all day and I'm recording this video and doing the voiceover for this video. Um, so yeah, dedication is real right now, but I enjoy doing it and that's the main thing. Once you enjoy doing something in life, it never actually feels like work. But unfortunately, that doesn't stop me actually being tired. Um, and I can't have coffee because then I won't sleep. I've had about six cups of coffee today as well, which is probably unhealthy. I probably should get my heart checked out at a doctor sometime soon. Anyway, just adding a little bit of something different here. Just a, I wouldn't even know what you would call this. So I'm kind of like trying to highlight an enrichment item here for the meerkats. By kind of adding these like twigs. Well, they're not twigs. They're quite big logs, actually. Like combined and, and tied together. Add a little bit of rope so it looks kind of like home, like, like homemade, man-made. 
Um, and yeah, I kind of li like how it looks. I don't know what kind of look I was trying to go for, but it just adds something a little bit different rather than just place it down. And it highlights the fact that there is an enrichment item there to your guest. The eyes will be drawn to it if they see three big logs sticking out the ground. <laughs> Um, so that was my theory behind it basically. So just finishing that off with the rope, kind of keeping it rustic here. I'm not kind of actually look like the rope is all in place, kind of like dangling rope off it, kind of like it's worn away a little bit. This is kind of like my mind just races when I build stuff in Planet Zero, it really does, and that's kind of like extreme I go to in my brain. Um, Education, obviously very important. We're going to keep the education very important in this habitat as well. So we're going to place um, a TV down. Obviously, we're going to add speakers as well. But just creating a TV and putting the plaster pieces around so it looks kind of like part of the wall. But I really do look at, do look, do like how it looks. Right, we need to create um, a little backstage area here. But first, we need to put the habitat gate in. Decided to put it here. Obviously, we're going to wrap a no barrier around as well. Just trying to get it right now and make sure the path, you know what the path system's like in Planet Zoo. I'm just trying to get that, make sure that's all smooth and that our um, guests can get through and our zoo um, keepers can actually get to the habitat gate as well. Which can be probably one of the difficult things in Planet Zoo, really, is the path system. I'm so happy they added the no path law. Well done. Well done, Planet Zoo. Yeah, just create, just building around, and this is what I always do with my habitat um, gates. I just build around it with plaster pieces or, or mesh pieces or whatever you want. But kind of just get it in place first and then build around it and fit it in and make sure it looks like it actually is made to fit in. And this is kind of like square here is kind of going to be like the like a private outdoor area as well as an area where our zookeepers can monitor our meerkats. So the beyond that this kind of path is going to be the backstage area normally do a quite extravagant backstage area me with shelving and all kinds of stuff like that and loads of little details but i kind of just wanted like a simple path with this one um i don't know why i just wasn't feeling a whole backstage area which was indoors and, and and kind of like a lot of detail obviously we're going to add little details mainly props from the conservation pack the broom and the and the shovel and and stuff like that stuff you would find in the backstage area we're going to separate it from our guest zone with this gate so obviously it's not practical it just looks practical we're going to put a, um, a staff path underneath the flooring so our guests can't actually go beyond this point but again it's all about these little details what make everything blend together and look realistic and make any zoo and any habitat in fact come alive i always say it, it's all in the little details and then we're just going to square off this little backstage area here add some more little details as well do you not know, like grids because that's where the water will go down if the area was to be washed down by a horse pipe that's where the water would go down and then we're going to square this off this square this off this can't speak today square off this area again with the plaster pieces and just move everything over and align everything as it should be and as if by magic our meerkats are in the habitat and the guests are starting to come to view them didn't actually realize how small they are compared to everything i probably could have actually built the habitat smaller but i am happy with the size i'm happy with everything i built look at this little dude just chilling out and enjoying his new habitat from above i feel like we extended the zoo and made it look even better with the addition of this habitat and it still fits in the same aesthetic I feel like in a future video or maybe away from me recording videos, I'm going to kind of like upgrade this backstage area because I'm, I'm not that happy with it. I like it, but I'm not 100%. And with that habitat complete and the meerkats settling into the new home in New Tropic Zoo, that concludes this video. So if you are enjoying this series and you did enjoy this video, then hit that like button. If you're new to this series or new to my channel, then make sure you subscribe. My name's Adam. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you in the new Planet Zoo video.